James Franco For a while there, James Franco was one of the biggest names in Hollywood. But that all changed in the late 2010s when it was reported that Franco was exploiting women through his acting school, Studio 4. According to various sources, Franco encouraged his students to perform intimate physical acts for favors and behaved inappropriately during sensual scenes. He's a good actor. He's going to portray and he acts like he has nothing to hide. These allegations culminated in a lawsuit that was filed in October of 2019 as he wore a Time's Up pin that sparked the Franco scandal. I'm so upset. I didn't think I'll he. The two female defendants claimed that Franco held sexually exploitative auditions and film shoots at his studio and filmed the interactions. Franco settled the lawsuit for just under $1 million. I have my own side of, of this story, but um, I believe in, you know, these people that have been underrepresented getting their stories out enough that I will, you know, hold back um, things that I could say. Oh, Young Soo. This South Korean actor made headlines in 2021, playing the sweet but ultimately deceptive Oh, Il Nam in Squid Game. The role earned him widespread popularity and acclaim, not to mention an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor. In November of 2022, Oh was charged with indecent assault after inappropriately touching a woman in 2017. Danny Masterson the Masterson brothers rose to fame in the early 2000s, with Christopher Masterson on Malcolm in the Middle and Danny on That 70s Show. This blows men. That's what it all. I didn't have to answer anybody. I made my own rules. Oh, you shrewd me, Foreman. While Stephen Hyde is an icon to many, his legacy has undoubtedly been tarnished thanks to the legal snafus of his portrayer. It began in March of 2017, when Masterson was accused of sexual assault by three different women. This launched a years-long investigation that culminated in three separate charges. Yacker was arrested, charged, and posted a $3.3 million bail. Masterson pled not guilty, and the trial ended in May 2023, with the actor being found guilty of two of the three charges. We had written news, Danny Masterson has just been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison and has been ordered to register as a sex offender. Mike Tyson. He is... He's had a fag and... That's scary. Michael is intimidated. While undoubtedly one of the greatest boxers ever, Mike Tyson has always been a controversial figure. In early 1992, Tyson was the centerpiece of a very public trial regarding the sexual assault of Desiree Washington. The trial was extensively followed as Tyson had just finished a years-long reign as the undisputed heavyweight champion. Hyphen at hand is powerful finding style in the fonts bully. Had he been saying back to the series and juvenile offenses that included robbery and assault. His fist became his bookie. Thanks to testimony from emergency room physicians and Tyson's own chauffeur, the boxer was found guilty and sentenced to six years in prison. He ended up serving less than half that and was released in March of 1995. He went right back to boxing, with his August bout against Peter McNeely being billed as he's back. Why won't you say if you quit and like Tyson today? I would tell him that he fit, that he hurt me really bad. I would tell him you need help. You know, I didn't do it to hurt you. I didn't get it to take your career away. I did it because you need help. Josh Duggar, 19 Kids and Counting, was a TLC reality show following the Shell and Jim Bob Duggar and their 19 children. Yes, 19, you heard that right. The eldest child is Josh Duggar, born in 1988. In total, four sisters were victimized, as well as the family babysitter. The Duggars say they knew they had to act. In May 2015, In Touch Weekly published an old police report that showed Duggar had perpetrated multiple sexual offenses. Advertisers quickly pulled their support, and the show was canceled after 10 seasons. His sister Jill and brother-in-law Baron shared their feelings about it publicly 
publicly. After Josh's guilty verdict was announced, the couple wrote on their website, nobody is above the law. But the controversy didn't stop there. In April 2021, Duggar was arrested by U.S. Marshals after they found illicit material in his possession. Nil evidence was found on Gather's personal MacBook or an iPhone. A fact his defense is repeatedly highlighted in their theory that someone else had used Duggar's office computer. He was found guilty in December of that year and sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. Kevin Spacey. There are falls from grace. There are terrible oh, falls from grace. And then there's Kevin Spacey. It's amazing how fast his stock plummeted, going from one of the most beloved and respected actors of his generation to a disgraced has-been in the course of a day. Anyway, I'm not in my teeth writing on Tuesday, so you didn't have to get all your work done by Monday, which means you probably didn't have to be here all week. His career ended on October 29th, 2017, when Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of sexual misconduct. But this was only the tip of the iceberg. The floodgates opened, and dozens more accused Spacey of similar inappropriate behavior. It also opened multiple criminal cases and lawsuits. Spacey has pleaded not guilty and denies all charges. If convicted, Spacey will likely face jail time. One was launched in May of 2022 when Spacey was charged with four counts of sexual assault. A further seven charges were added the following November. Spacey was found not liable in the rat case, and after facing further charges in a UK trial that began in June 20th, 2023, he was cleared on all counts a month later. The brother of the accuser said, Essentially, uh, my brother would never allow Kevin Spacey to do this. That's a form of character evidence, which would never really come in in, Ameri in legal in American evidentiary law. But here in Great Britain, that kind of evidence is allowed. R. Kelly. The king of R&B has sold over 75 million records, making him one of the most successful artists of the modern age. That kind of legacy doesn't come easy, but R. Kelly completely threw it away thanks to some horrific behavior that landed him in prison. Whatever. Some older fans may remember the controversy of the 2000s when Kelly was prosecuted but ultimately acquitted of a serious crime. But he didn't get away with it for long, as Kelly was charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse in 2019. His lawyers were asking for the tang year, saying that R. Kelly himself was a victim. This led to further federal indictments, which in turn resulted in a slew of criminal convictions and a prison sentence of 31 years. Roman Polanski. In 1974, Roman Polanski released Chinatown, which garnered 11 Oscar nominations and cemented the director's place in movie history. How he, um, I wouldn't They're all in an accident. Who's the investigating officer? Lou Escobar. He's a lieutenant. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. Where from? We used to work together in Chinatown. Just three years later, he was charged with six offenses relating to the sexual assault of Samantha Gailey. Polanski entered a plea deal and expected to receive probation, but he later learned that Judge Lawrence Rittenband planned on rejecting the deal and sending the director to prison. Polanski then fled to France, knowing that he would not be extradited to the U.S. He was right, and the director has remained a fugitive ever since. This forest is one of the oldest and nubbiest in England, this. Don't you think this apps to be seen and honored, Lord here, Scott, given night like this? However, that didn't stop the Academy from awarding Polanski two more nominations and one win for Best Director. Hey, help us. The money. Bill Cosby. Known as America's Dad, Bill Cosby was once the most beloved man on television. So you music ground here. 
Sunday. His warm demeanor and sharp eye for comedy earned him legions of fans, as did those very unique sweaters. But there was a much darker reality hiding just below the surface. Sexual assault allegations had followed Cosby since the mid-60s, but nothing really came of them. But Cosby eventually faced his day of reckoning when he was accused by a woman named Andrea Constant. Her allegation was the only one that fell within the statute of limitations, and it was her story that put Cosby away for up to 10 years. This is a life-altering experience for any woman, any victim, any person who I think needs to be heralded for what she has done is Andrea. However, he served just under three before a legal technicality resulted in his release. The Supreme Court's very unlikely to take this case up because it largely circles around state law. So I think that this is R.V. Weinstein. For a movie producer, Harvey Weinstein was quite the celebrity. His name was plastered on the Weinstein Company, and he helped produce a number of classic films, including Pulp Fiction and the Best Picture winning Shakespeare in Love. But his name also sparks the hashtag MeToo social campaign. Harvey Weinstein became the first major figure taken down by the MeToo movement. Throughout late 2017, Weinstein was accused of sexual abuse by dozens of women, including prominent actresses like Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, and Rose McGowan. Gwyneth was invited to the hotel and the eating and then regularly losing her job at he yield you. He was officially charged with various sexual offenses in May 2018 and has received a combined prison sentence of 39 years. The victim recounted her trauma. Before that night, I was a very happy and confident woman, she said. Everything changed after the defendant brutally assaulted me. There was no prison sentence young enough to undo the damage.